New charges in the assault on democracy. Three men, all from southwestern Pennsylvania, just charged with taking part in the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. As of this evening, more than 525 people have been charged in the attack, and the FBI says more arrests are coming. As agents continue to pour through social media posts, security camera footage, and cell phone data. And those are some of the methods used to identify the three men who just appeared in federal court this afternoon. And their names are Samuel Fox, Mitchell Vukich, and Nicholas Pareda. All three just went before a federal judge. Our Rick Earl was there and joins us now from the breaking news desk with the latest on the charges. Rick? Yeah, guys, one of the men, Sam Fox, was released on $10,000 unsecured bond after his first appearance in a federal courtroom in Pittsburgh just this afternoon. He was taken into federal custody this morning, and while working this case, investigators got some help from some unlikely people. Federal investigators in the criminal complaint say an unnamed witness who went to college with Samuel Fox helped to identify him at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th during the insurrection. Investigators say that witness pointed them to a Facebook post on Fox's page, complete with pictures, they say, of Fox at the Capitol that day. Investigators were then able to gather images from Capitol surveillance cameras that they say show Fox wearing a red bandana and climbing through a Capitol window and taking a selfie once inside. Investigators say another unnamed witness provided agents with deleted Facebook posts from Fox's page promoting the January 6th rally in D.C. and his possible intentions. Quote, who's going? I got five more seats at this point. Another post stating the next time I see fireworks go off in D.C., I want them attached to traitor politicians, unrelated, but see on the 6th. Investigators say cell phone records also placed Fox inside the U.S. Capitol on the afternoon of January 6th. Fox, who's from Mount Pleasant, owns a moving company, Westmoreland Movers, based in Latrobe. Tonight, he is charged with entering a restricted building, disorderly and disruptive conduct, violent entry, and demonstrating in a Capitol building. And again, this afternoon, Sam Fox was released on bond. He's set to appear at a court hearing next week. If convicted, he faces up to one year in prison and a fine of $100,000. That's the very latest reporting live at the breaking news desk this evening. Rick Hurl, Channel 11 News.